G'day everyone. This afternoon I'm going fly fishing in this little stream behind me and you're welcome to join me. I'm inviting you all to come along and experience a fly fishing session with me. There's no introduction. Notice that? There's no, hey you. That's because this video is going to be one big one. One being one big long uncut video. Everything's going to be left in. This has been requested a few times over the years and it got requested again just recently and a few people gave it a thumb, gave the, uh, the comment a thumbs up. Hey Robbie, why don't you just, just film the whole lot and make one big video so we can see from start to finish everything that happens. Well that's what I'm doing now. I'm going fly fishing and you're going to see everything. If I get a flat battery on the GoPro there'll be a cut. If I sniff too much because I've got a bit of hay fever there'll be a cut. <laughs> and uh, if I look on fly fishing, so if I get epically tangled, I might have to cut that scene out because it'll be too boring. But other than that, I will leave everything in. Hopefully I don't have to make any cuts. Let's go and find out. Normally I push stop now and then start filming when I get down to the creek. But obviously I can't because this is an uncut thing. I've got my hemp bag. I'm not really a traditional fly fisherman, am I? With my vest and my top hat and everything. I've got a hemp bag with my flies and the stuff in it that I need. I've got my little two weight that I bought in early December. Right. Looks like it's got a bit of a tangle there. It's got a bit of a knot or something. And anyway, we'll see how it goes. Where's my GoPro? Is it angled properly? That'll do. Now I had to cross the creek walking down here and it actually feels quite warm. I mean, it's the middle of summer, it's never going to feel really cold, but I would have liked it to have felt a bit cooler than what it does. Now, because this is a long, un uncut video, you're probably going to hear lots of panting. There's lots of flat grass. There's been a lot of people walking along the bank here fishing. You'll hear me panting because I'll be puffed. You may even hear me swear if something goes wrong. <laughs> Oh, gee, it feels good to be casting a fly again. I haven't been fly fishing since before Christmas. I've got a half down hopper, the dry fly, and then underneath that, I've got a little nymph. I do believe that this stream has probably seen quite a lot of pressure over the last few weeks. It is still school holidays, and there's a... Uh, quite a lot of looks like a track down the side of the creek where people have been walking and I'm parked at quite a big and popular campsite and there's a lot of vehicle tracks there but anyway that doesn't mean I won't catch nothing it doesn't mean I won't catch anything at all like this I spooked one it's over here I knew I was going to spook a fish there for some reason I just knew that was going to happen. The water doesn't feel cold enough for my likings, but it is. It is the middle of January, so that's to be expected. You will see me looking back over my shoulder a lot. That's just what you do when you fly fishing. You make sure you've got plenty of room at the back for your back cast. If I find fish taking that half down hopper but not taking the nymph, I may even take the nymph off. The hopper sunk that time. Well, there's a rise up there in the middle of the pool. That's encouraging. Let me nip snagged on something by the looks of that. I'm just hoping that my wake, the waves that I'm sending up there from walking in the water, don't spook whatever that was that rose up there then. It was up there somewhere that it rose. Gee, I would have thought there'd be a fish in here. Maybe this isn't the right fly. I 
Gotta love this little two weight. It is a doozy. Oh, something hit the nymph. I wasn't paying enough attention. The hop I went just got pulled under, just vanished. I haven't been fly fishing since before Christmas. Just because it's been school holidays and stuff, I like to uh, I sort of stand back. I know these areas are pretty busy over the holidays, so I just hang around home, do a bit of cod fishing around town, chase a few redfin somewhere. Look, the people that aren't as lucky as I am to be able to come up to these places on a regular basis, let them fish it in peace. Talk about peace, I probably should shut up for a while. This is where I crossed over, so I doubt whether there'll be a fish in here or not. I walked down there and then went up that way. I crossed right here. under there then but maybe I'm saying things starting off quite slow oh there goes a fish you're sitting in the shallows right there I can't cast the him from here even if I want to. Look at that tree. From here I could. I could just lob it over like that. The fish swimming up the pool there. Maybe I've got the wrong fly. Maybe this fly was good back in December, but not so good in the middle of January. Something just swam up the rapids up there then. There's got to be a fish up there, doesn't there? I couldn't present that fly any better if I wanted to. My line hit the water a bit hard that time because I'm worried about my bow. I should have plenty of room now. It's a bit better. I reckon that fish that swam through here a minute ago spooked everything in its wake. I don't know what's going on with this line. I might just break that off. Probably hook a fish now and the whole lot will come undone. I might just give my fly a little bit of treatment. I might put some, uh, I might make it nice and fluffy and then I'll put some gink in my pocket. This is the stuff that makes it nice and fluffy. 
put it in there, close the lid but not too tight. Give it a good shake up. Take it out. <sighs> Look at that, it's as dry as a bone. It's like I brought one. It's like a new one. Now what I'll do, I'll put that back in here. I don't really want that on the water at the moment. Put that back in here. And I'll grab some floatant out. That's the one I want, I think. Yep, some loon. Some loon. Perfect name for a brand for me. And what I'll do, I'll get me Loon, which is floatant, which is the same sort of stuff as Gink. I'll just put a little bit of that under the top of my fly. Under this tuft at the top here. Just this bit. I can go in my pocket. All right, onwards and upwards. Moving forward. As Brett would say, no bingo. The best water's upstream, closer to the car. I just, I like that pool down there and the one down a bit further. And my favourite hole's up around the corner here a bit. And then it's up near the car, we get some nicer pools. I'm swimming around in the water here. Must be a little trout swimming around my feet or something. Fish just took off up through there then. They're very shy, I'm finding I'm spooking quite a few just walking up, but even though I'm just nice and quiet and going slowly, perhaps my shirt's too bright or something. Got a bit one there, doesn't they? If I was a trout, I'd sit there. And then maybe I wouldn't in case a uh, bird flew past. And saw me. I didn't even land in the water that time, just stayed in the tussocks. <laughs> Can't get it over the tussocks. That's better. Quite often the, the dry will go under and you just strike. You don't know whether the fish has got the nymph or the nymphs hit a rock, so you just strike just to be safe. I've got a tangle going on here. I'm right-handed and I'm casting with my left hand because of the vegetation I'm suspecting that's what's caused that. Just about to say, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad, but it's, uh... I'm not going to say that just yet because it's starting to look bad. <laughs> I think I've got it. I got it.
surprised I haven't had a single take on the dry. Nothing. Maybe the water is a bit warm. Maybe just because I've seen a few doesn't mean they're feeding. Maybe they're just living. <laughs> just existing. Of course, I'm watching for snakes with every single step. This is a nice pool, but I always spook something at the side, I was just about to say, which I just did. I never caught a fish in here because I always either spook fish or catch the tree with a fly. Oh, come on. Like that. Funny how there's some holes that you always catch something in the sun that you never catch anything. There's a nice hole up around the corner here in a minute. It's my favourite hole in the entire stream because I always catch something there. Doesn't look like I'm going to catch anything in here. Just got spooked in the fast water here. This lovely pool up here, so it's like a little bit of a plunge pool. There's a rise or something. Oh, look at that spooked a fish just there, then bugger it. A few little fish darting around my feet here. There's fish swimming, oh, there's fish everywhere. Probably why I always catch them in this hole. Although today I'm not excited because look at that bloody bush hanging over the creek. There's a bloody fish right in front of me. I'm speaking a lot of fish. They are very, very, very flighty. For a back cast, not really, so I've got to, have to do some kind of a roll cast. That'll work. A bit over this side, I should have. That's better.
I think I might have the wrong fly on me. Could be something right up there under the bloody plunge, didn't it? Under the waterfall. The water might be a little bit warm. Mm -hmm. It's a bit disappointing. Not very often I leave this hole without a fish. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! First one! Come on, buddy. Come on, mate. This is taking a while. He took the nymph, he didn't take the dry. Lovely brown. I'm not going to get a photo because this time of the year, when the water's really warm, the best thing you can do is say, G'day, mate. See you later, mate. <laughs> Get him back in as quick as you can. I think that's why they're not biting all that well. I think the water's a bit warm. And uh, maybe their metabolism's not right or they're just not feeding a lot. The conditions aren't optimal. There's a decent flow, but I think the water temperature isn't great. A, lot of, a mistake that a lot of people make when they want to practice catch and release. Obviously, if you're keeping a fish for a fee, this is all irrelevant. But if you are wanting to release your fish, the biggest mistake you can do is hold it out of the water and take photos of this, that and the other get a real quick snap and straight back in lift it up, photo, straight back you've literally got probably 10 or 20 seconds if that fish was out of the water for probably 30 seconds or so on a warm day like today I reckon it would just about go belly up I wonder if that's the same those two or three fish to swim past Nice. I'll try and go a little bit further, but I'm a bit worried about my back casting space or lack of. Got him. There's number two. He took the dry this one, I think, didn't he? Oh, well, they got the nymph. It all happened so fast. Right, come on, buddy. He's a lovely trout. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. He's a lovely trout. Gee whiz. Come on, come on, quick. The quicker I can get yarn hooked and back in, the happier you're going to be. 
Come on, let me get that little nymph out. There it is. Lovely brown trout. Number two, see you later, mate. He's off. Oh, look, he's, <laughs> he swam straight up to that little rapid and tried to get over it. Oh, after a slow start, I've just caught two in quite quick succession. Could I even get a third one out of this pool of a mucky? Someone did come from the very far back. Yeah, that happened fast, my bloody. The stimulator, as soon as it hit the water, bang, straight down. Oh, God, it's too slow. That hit the water and a fish hit it straight away. Hit the nymph again. When this happens, the, the dry fly is essentially becoming the strike indicator. The nymph is just a little grey nymph that I bought off Darren Asquith in Benalla a while back. In case you're wondering why I'm not bothering to change my dry fly, there's nothing rising anyway, so... If there were fish rising, and they weren't taking this fly, well I'd know I've probably got the wrong fly, but there's no risers. I've seen, I've, I might have saw one rise in the first hole, and that was it. And even then I'm not 100% certain that it was a rise. Look at the fish swimming up into the back of this pool here. I'd fish it from back here if I could, but it's uh, not much room for my back cast. Gee, even that hit something there then. Oops. That might have been a rise up there. Sometimes when you see rings, you just think it's a rise, but it could also be a bird dipping down in the water. Or an insect hatching from under the water, just breaking the surface and that looked like a rise right near my fly. Oh, that was a take. Something definitely hit the nymph then and I missed it. Just got to get one. Or not. Got him. Oh, she! I struck too hard and yanked him fair out of the water. <laughs> Once again, the moment my uh, the moment my half down hopper hit the water, bang! Got pulled straight under. That is tiny, but what a pretty little brown trout! Young trout, whether it's browns and rainbows, both. <laughs> I was going to get you give you a glimpse, but he's got other ideas. Some of the prettiest fish you'll see. Slowly but surely, I'm getting a few. It took a while. Took a while to get my eye in. Who knows, maybe that bit where I started, I saw a few fish, but they weren't taking the fly and now they are. Maybe someone had walked through there but got out, come up from downstream further, and maybe that's where they got out. So maybe that was uh, just recently fished. That could have been secondhand water. Everything in alignment there? Looking good. I mean, this would have been fished pretty recently too, but maybe not quite as recently. This is the campsite. There's a big campsite right there. So for anybody camping on a hot day, this would be the swimming spot and everything, probably. <laughs> Let's go. Go, oh, go! That took the bloody dry. I missed it. That took the hopper. That one took Dennis half down hopper. I should call this fly Dennis. After Dennis Hopper from Easy Rider. It's 
It's always good to check just to make sure the nymph's still there. Sometimes you can snap it off and not even know you've done it. You can snap it off on a fish. You can snap it off on the tree behind you. You can snap it off on a rock. Right, I I normally walk around this hole, but it's a warm day. I'm happy to go through. But gee whiz, it's deep. Yeah, this would definitely be a... Uh, when people are camping here in the real hot weather, this would be the spot they'd probably come to and dip their head. Now don't stress, not every one of my videos from now on is going to be like this. This was a requested video, but I forget who it was that requested it. I did go through the comment section looking for the yeah the right comment, but there's quite a lot of comments in there and I just couldn't find it. Got him! Oh, bugger! I felt weight. I felt weight. He had the he, he took the dry as well. The last two fish have hit the uh, the hopper, the half down hopper. Dennis. The last two fish have hit Dennis Hopper. I was born in a crossfire hurricane. Oh. I probably shouldn't sing because this is an unedited video, isn't it? I can't edit the singing out. <laughs> Jumping Jack Flash, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you idiot. My shadow's on that bit of water as well, so that's probably not going to help. It's getting late in the day and I've got to be very wary of my shadow. I'm actually thankful to have a shadow at the moment. Three quarters of Australia seems to be underwater. Oh, that was a take, I reckon. Trying to get down really low to get up under there. In the words of Run DMC, it's tricky, 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 tricky. Tinted windows don't mean nothing, they know who's inside. Well, there's no trout inside, so I better keep moving. Moving on up, moving on up. Time to break free, nothing can stop me. Welcome to Robbie singing. Welcome to Robbie's uncut fly fishing reels. And almost welcome to Robbie's falling, then I slipped.
this next hole's a nice pool, but I've never really done much good in it for some reason. It's almost like it's haunted or something. Fish are too scared to go there. Come on, fish. How much room have I got? I've got room for a big one. What like that? Gotta be a hungry trout in this hole, surely. I say that every time I come here. Look at that, that's just ideal. I couldn't present that any better. This hole sucks. I wouldn't want a dollar for every fish that I've actually hooked in this little run right in front of me here. I haven't landed them all, but I've certainly hooked a few. I can see me fly there. Yes, I can. Is it in the water? <laughs> it is now. a big long slippery rock it was nearly time to get on the speed dial and call the bloody medivac to lift me out As you can see, I'm having a few difficulties here. Nice looking bit of water is there. But I may have spooked everything in sight. Possibly. It's no good when the fly has an unnatural drag like that. There it goes again. One of the real hazards with fly fishing is you spend so much time focusing on your fly, which is a good thing because it distracts you from the rest of the problems of the world. But the downside is you don't spend much time looking around making sure there's no snakes. I reckon I've uh, had more snake mishaps fly fishing than any other form of fishing for that reason. <laughs>
I don't like that I'm in the sun here, I reckon it'll make me uh, stand out too easily for the fish. Puckering. Oh no. That's a part of fly fishing. Now if I have to break this and retie everything, I will be cutting the scene because it'll be just too long and boring. Come on! Oh shit. So close, if I can just grab that leaf. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Look. I've got it. Yes. Not very many fly fishing trips. I'm going alright today actually. I haven't uh, lost any flies to trees. I well, just came close then. Look at that. Alright, back in business straight away. Quick, get the line in. There's not a second to lose. I'd love a nice back cast, but it's not, uh, not a little bit of, oh, got it, oh, I missed him, had a take, didn't feel any weight, he could come back, but I doubt it, oh, something hit the nymph, must have hit it really quick and let go of it, I reckon, bugger it, I had me chance, and I stuffed it, what about up there? Be fly go. Can I see it? There it is. Could be a fish in there, doesn't it? Yeah, quite flighty today. I think they're seeing me really easy. I reckon my choice of shirt was bad. Too light. Should have gone something a bit darker. And if there's a trout there, you would have grabbed that cast. Can you see? Can you see? I just thought of something, YouTube will probably smother this video with ads because it's so long. They're going to love it. I'll take some out, don't you worry. There's no point having an ad every five minutes if there's no action.
got to get a fish here, surely. Oh, yes, got him. I was just about to open my mouth and say, if I get a chance, I better not stuff it up. <laughs> Righto. Come on, Mr. Trout. You've been a while in the making. Gotta love this little two-weight. Absolutely love it. Oh, you don't get tangled. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, what I'll do, I'll unhook you. I'll get you back. He actually took the dry. He is, but he has been hooked on the half down hopper. Get you out of there. Get the hook out of my finger. Put my glasses on because they're falling off. Another little trout. See you later, mate. Now, what I'll do is uh, I'll work on untangling my line. Why I'm doing this, because it's an uncut video, you guys can just enjoy the sounds of nature in the background. I'm almost there. Or not. I'm almost there, I reckon. Patience is a virtue. Did you know that? Patience is a virtue. What does virtue mean? Stuff if I know, but I've nearly got this untangled. Look, look, look. Back in the game, breaking hearts again. Better watch out, cause I'm back in the game. That's a, uh, that's an Airborne song. I love that band, Airborne. One of the best rock bands to come out of Australia since ACDC, I reckon. Let's keep moving up. I might just uh, give me trot me fly me fly a bit of treatment again. I'm just gonna get it dried, and then I'm gonna walk up. I'll get me silicon dust out, whatever it is. Look at that, it's all matted and matted and wet looking. Alright, now you watch this. Washka this! Ah! Put in there. Good to go. Look at that. That just absolutely amazes me every time I use it. In fact, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's the... What's the word that Holly uses all the time? It's satisfying. That's very satisfying. I'll chuck a bit of a uh, bit of floating back up there on the tuft at the top. Good to go again. Now I'm going to have to go bush bashing here. So what I'm going to do, the creek gets a little bit overgrown just up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook that up. There's a bit of crap water coming up for a while now. Let me get some more good water again up near the end where I get out. Hook that up. Wander around Ooh. without falling over, preferably. If I can just go up there, take a shortcut. Never done this before, it might be not a bad idea, I reckon. Watching carefully where I put my feet.
how dangerous are these wombat holes? Like if you weren't paying attention, you'd go straight down that. <laughs> yeah, it's not that great through there. It's very overgrown and not a lot of deep pools. Now I realise I'm puffing because it's uh oh dear it's hot, it's hard work, I'm older and I'm overweight <laughs> and I'm an asthmatic, oh, I haven't got asthma at the moment. I'm not gonna blame that. I reckon up there is the better spot to get in. I can hear some king parrots. Look at me shadow on the water. Not a real good spot just here, I'm not fishing it too heavily. The good water starts up here a bit more. Sorry about the sniffing. Now in my uh, my normal videos that I edit, which is every other video except this one, normally I'll get to a spot like this after walking through all that, and I'll stop for a few seconds and just catch my breath. I'm going to catch a fish here, I can feel it. That's if I don't fall over. Or we'll not. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there ain't one there. That's okay because there's some nice water coming up. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Not that one. Ooh, might have been a touch. The thing, the uh, half down hopper went under really quick. And again, that was a fish. Bugger it. That's a good song, that by the Beatles. Blackbird. I'm sure that I've already got a fly up there from my last fly fishing trip. I kid you not. I'm sure I have. I 
Come on, they get these back, I reckon. Oh, got it. Can't see any other flies, but I'm positive that I've been hooked on this bastard before. I'll break the whole thing off. Prevent me from hooking it next time. <laughs> Just doing a bit of gardening. Jim's mowing. Jim's fly retrieval. There we go, back in business. That's a wallaby. G'day mate, you gave me a little bit of a fright. Gotta go and see a bloke about a wallaby. <laughs> that was a line from Finding Nemo that cracked me up. To be a fish in there, but I bet he's seen me already. I don't know whether I'm becoming fatigued or well, there's more vegetation here than what there was downstream. One good thing about an uncut video, you get to see just how often I get snagged in trees. I wonder what happens if I just look like a real little bit of line out like that. And just dangle that through there. I'd say probably nothing will happen because if there was a fish there, it's probably already seen me because I was piss farting around. Whoops, I just swore. And I can't edit it out. Blackbird singing, da 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 Fish or something just jumped in there. I think something's swimming upstream here. Could be a fish. You know what a fish is? It's a fish with no eyes. What do you call a fish with no eyes? I can get to the creek through here. When I get back to my car and I put my YouTube premium music player on for the journey home, I'm going to bring up Blackbird by the Beatles. Not sure if it was the Beatles or just Paul McCartney. Dun, 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 dun. Start getting some nicer pools again in a minute. Then the fish will start flowing in. Here you go, here comes a fish. You watch. Now, 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 not now, now, now. Could be a fish in here, surely. A bit of casting space, which is good. Come on. Beautiful little run. Oh, 
where did all the fishes go? Ending tears. Oh. I don't know whether to go up the creek or along there because I know you. Okay, okay three. Look at fishing in here. See if I can land the fly on the water. Do you think there'd be something in there? It's very hard to land a fly on the water when it's this skinny and overgrown. Get a fish out of here, it'll be a miracle. I'm getting up into the open water shortly. I caught me shirt. That happens sometimes when you fly fish and say it's catching the grass on the other side. There's a footprint there. Maybe that's why they're a bit shy up here. Maybe someone got in 
at the top of the uh, the campsite just recently, maybe this morning or something, and because there's certainly uh, been a bit of a slowdown since that campsite. Someone could have got in just along here somewhere. There has absolutely been a slowdown. I'm not going much further, probably only about 150 metres. There's a trout right under that. He just came up under it and then just went. I reckon this is second-hand water. Yeah, trout definitely came up under my floor, just in there then. Wow, there goes a fish, I just spooked one. I haven't seen many fish for a while. They've certainly gone very quiet. I do think that I am fishing second-hand water now since I saw that footprint I thought I saw one a bit further down but didn't sort of say anything and then that fish just coming up under my fly then I'm thinking maybe someone's got in upstream of the campsite there's a fish swimming up through there now but you'd think they would have fished the campsite as well I'm not quite fish down there Look at the waves in here. There's a footprint there too. Looks a bit of a bugger catching that. Worked. I've sunk.
That's a nice little run, this, but I've just got no hope of fishing it with a fly rod. The bow and arrow in my cast might work, but it's a bit tricky with this rod. One thing about this smaller rod, it's hard to make a bow and arrow cast. I noticed that pretty early in the piece. It seems to be easier with my 7 foot 6 rod for some reason. Yeah, well, I'm getting pretty buggered.
Oh, that was a touch. Got one last hole to deliver the goods. Spooked the fish already, that's a start. Not a good one, but it's a start. Oh, got him! Look at that, on the dry fly! How good was that, eh? He came and grabbed the half down hopper on the very last hole that I'm going to be fishing. It's taken me quite a while. It's probably the biggest fish of the day too. What I think's happened, I got to a point where I started seeing footprints and I think somebody may have walked in off the road, which is just up there, and fish that section either today or yesterday and I think it's uh, second-hand water a little bit and that's why I haven't seen any for quite a while come on buddy you've got a lovely brown trout oh mate hang on let me get the hook out and he's taken on the, the half down hopper on the last hole that I'm fishing ending the video on a high note oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get the release come on see you later mate off he goes. Well, folks, I'll take my bag off. One hour and 20 minutes of fly fishing adventure. The last half an hour was pretty bloody slow, though, I've got to be honest. But this is a requested video. Obviously, not all of my videos are going to be like this. If I was to make this into a normal video, it'd be quite a good video because you'd see five or six trout get caught in about a five or ten minute period and it'd be great but this is the reality of a fishing trip I've, uh, I've walked for 20 or 30 minutes before I saw a fish and I went bang 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 I caught three or four in quick succession then another 20 or 30 minutes with no fish and then I've just caught another one now it's been very refreshing to be back up in the hills wet wading up a stream I'm absolutely buggered now thanks very much for watching if any of you watched it for the entire length or it's an enormous thank you i've got a funny feeling my audience retention on this video is going to be probably the worst on my entire channel <laughs> but anyway folks there it is robbie raw robbie in the raw you don't want to see robbie in the raw a robbie fishing raw fishing adventure thanks very much for watching if you've watched it all the way you're a true legend that's all i get to say i'm going home to have some tea i might even have a cold beer